Greetings and hello there, everyone. It's me, your Middle Earth dad, Nooch Too Good, and I got a big gold discussion today. Man, I got no gold. I, well, I have some gold right now. I do have some gold at the moment. If I back out here a little bit, I got about five, I have 439,000 gold. That's a nice amount of gold. However, I'm saving for Elrond. Um, you know, I, I only have a certain level of, if I go to level up here, you know, I, I've got 886,000 XP and 439,000 gold. Now, the problem is, I pretty much need the exact amount of XP as gold. It's really, it's really strange here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I need to go over here. Let's, let's move the screen over. I don't really understand. I don't know why we don't get the same amount of XP and gold. I guess you also use so yeah. There's something wrong with the XP button here. So I also use gold to to, to gain stars, which doesn't use XP. I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't know the math of it all. I need a lot of gold to do the things I want to do. I'd love to upgrade my elves. I'm at level 47 right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of stall out around level 46, 47. Hold everybody there, so that when I get to the Elrond event, I can do it at lower levels. You want to see where we need where we need to be to do the Elrond event, right? But I mean, my Rohirrim level 42, my orcs level 31, level 29. Um, if you go down to more orcs, I've got level level 35, 33. I I mean, I'd love to get my Rohirrim, my orcs. My Isengard orcs and my elves up as high as I can get them right now. Promote them all and get them all to, you know, level 47. I mean, I even got Morja sitting here that I can't upgrade. I've got Ajak that I can't I can't do anything with these valuable characters. Strider's only level 39. So what I want to do here, and I just did it, I did this earlier today in a Galaxy Heroes video, but what I want to go through, I want to go through and calculate all the gold I would need just to upgrade the stuff that I want. I don't even want to take... I'm not going to bother with Great Goblin. I'm not going to bother with Herendil or Edric. I'm not going to do the, you know, these... Uh, I don't even know. What is Edric here? He is... He's a human. He's a Dunland. He's a, a Dunlander. Whatever. I'm not going to do the Dunland. I'm not going to do the, the uh, Gondor guys. But my orcs that I want to do, my, my Rohirrim... I, I, I'd love to get these Mortar guys. These Mordor guys up and running. I mean, I, I could actually maybe have a team of these doing something. So let's say like two shadow teams, two light teams, elves and Rohirrim, Mordor and orcs, Isengard orcs. I'd love to get these guys up. So give me a minute while I go in through and do a bunch of calculations and figure out what it costs. Now let me do a, a quick, before I jump into there, just as an example, if I was going to promote, if I was going to level up Aeldred from level one to level 47, it's going to cost me 208,000 gold and 210,000 XP. So I can only do that for two characters, level 47. Again, I'm saving up for Elrond. I want to make sure I've got everything available for Elrond. You know, you got to spend gold for abilities. You got to spend gold for stars. It's going to be expensive to do that. So I'm, I'm waiting. You know, uh, I think we're going to have Eladon here in the next week and a half or so. So I got to make sure I got enough for that. But let me go through. And, and by the way, the promotion levels 900 for two stars, 15,000 for three stars, 80,000 for four. 150 for five, 250 for six stars, and 500 for seven stars. That is 750, 900, 980. It's about a million. It's about a million to upgrade a character from zero all the way up to seven stars. So that's what I'll be looking at. So let's go through. Give me a minute here. I'm going to go through the roster, and I'm going to get up my handy dandy calculator. I'm going to tell you how much gold I could spend today. <laughs> I've got 480,000 or whatever. How much could I actually spend? It's probably in the 20 to 30 million range if I really wanted to upgrade these guys as much as I could. So let me go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It, it's actually... It's not a good number, but it's a little lower than I thought. And, uh, but let's just take a look. So I looked at Halbarad and Ugluk, and as I was looking at these guys, I was considering how much it costs to level someone up, you know, to level 47 from where they are right now. Um, any star upgrades that I had available. Equipping. Now, equipping's a little hard, because if I start to equip a few characters, I won't be able to equip all of them. So I did a, I did most of the equip that I saw, but I kind of left some of it on the table. And abilities, I gotta tell you, this is a huge, this is a huge gold sink right here. 
you look at this, just to upgrade him to level 3 is 24, um, 44, what is that going to be, 80, 90, that's 100,000 right there. Just to upgrade these abilities from level 2 to level 3 and one of them to level 4. 100,000 gold for just the abilities here. So when I'm looking at abilities, I kind of did most, any abilities at two to three I did because I got enough materials for that. The three to four, I only did a couple because I don't have a lot of uh, uh, ability materials here. I'm going to get some more in the future. I did Tordok because I kind of like to see him working with Bolg to see what he's like. So I did Halbrad and Ugluk, uh, Strider, Tordok. Then I did Malhur, Ajak, Bolg. I did this whole row right here, my Rohirrim here. Uh, I just did these two here because I want to see that Mordor team up and running. Did I miss any Mordor along the way? I don't think I did. Uh, I did Grimlers here. I guess I've only got a couple of Mordor that I could use, but I'd like to see them work with my Ironhide because he, you know, gains stuff from Mordor. And then we, I just did these two here, Ironhide, and then my top row of Elves I did. And guys, it's 4.5 million gold that I need, which is actually quite a bit lower than I thought. Now, quite a bit lower is fine. But I've let, I have less than 10% of that available at the moment. So I don't know where the gold is going to come from over time because as we move forward, that figure is going to go up. And I'm going to be getting the same amount of gold, but i got to take characters to level 48, 49, 50, gear 6, gear 7, gear 8. Every gear, These gear levels are expensive, guys. If I look at just... Let's take a look at this one. So this equipping to gear level 3 is 1480. But if I look at like one piece of gear from six to seven, it's 30,000. So you figure almost, and that's one of the easier ones, I think, right? Yeah, that's an easy piece of gear. The hard pieces of gear are over here somewhere. I don't remember where they are. They get really difficult as you go deeper in. You can have a lot more stuff. And so I guess I'm not finding it. I don't know. I'm not looking in the right places. You know what I'm talking about. It gets more and more difficult the further and deeper you go in the gear. That's probably about 200,000 for gear. And if I look at these upgrades, 76,000, 36. So that's 110 right there. 160, 220,000. So the gold prices kind of increase exponentially as you get these ability materials. And the upgrade prices to new levels as well. Uh, you know, there's going to be have to be new ways for us to unlock gold as we go forward. And I know the experience, I know the character experience is also an issue for a lot of people. I'm not having that issue yet. I think it's because I paused and I, and I spent a bunch of gold on upgrading my iron hide. But if I hadn't done that, I have about 750,000 more gold right here. So I'd have way more gold than experience. And they're close to the numbers required. 207, 210, that's close to the same required. So I think maybe some extra star upgrades in there will help you get past the experience hurdle. So do some more star upgrades along the way. Hmm, but yeah, I mean, I, I could use another four and a half million. And, and I might have been under shooting that. It's hard to know. I'm probably 500,000 off when we so it's probably 4 million to 5 million gold that I really need if I want to take if I want to take my elves up to level 47 and, and the max stars I can get which would be 3 here and 5 here if I want to take my uh, my my Mordor which would be the Ironhide to 47 Ironhide Grimblers and Rakma up to 47 and then if I want to take my Urukai Orcs and my my Rohan right now if I want to take all those teams and Strider up to level 47 and the and the upgrades I can do in the Halberad, 4.5 million, somewhere in that range, guys. So there you go. That's how far behind we were. I'm, I'm running. I've got about 10% of the gold I read need right now, and I've been trying to save it as much as possible. I don't know. Where are you with gold? Where are you with XP right now? I do. It does seem like... If you do some more star upgrades, I think that's going to alleviate some of your XP issues. It's not going to alleviate the overall issues that you're just behind and you can only really afford to upgrade one team at a time right now in Loader, Heroes of Middle-Earth. And it's why I haven't touched my Shadow Team very much at all for like a couple of weeks now. I've touched them a little bit to get them. It sounds a little weird, but I'm touching Orcs, everybody. I've upgraded them a little bit just to get through some more nodes. But I've started now, I'm really just dialed in on the elves here to, to make them work and get them going. By the way, these two are and Elro here at level 46, plus my Iron Hide at level 46, certainly carrying me in Arena and carrying me through the guild campaigns. I've been able to finish 
all the guild campaigns right now because I've got those guys at level 46. You can see right here, they're all complete. Uh, I, I didn't get them all three stars, but I don't need them all at three stars right now. I can get those later. I don't need this one to be at three stars right now. That's not really important. I just need the character ones to be at three stars at the moment. And as long as I have one down here, these are all the same rewards. So if I just have one at three stars, which I have a few of them, then I'm fine. So anyway, there you go, guys. That I That's the amount of gold that, you, that I need right now if I'm going to spend all of it. I'm short about four to five million gold to upgrade my roster. And four to five million gold is something it would probably... You're getting somewhere around... If you take in the event, you're getting somewhere around 150,000 gold a day, maybe. That's me doing a lot more, maybe more refreshes than you're doing. So 150,000 into four and a half million. Let's do that. Four, five hundred, one, two, three. There we go. Divided by 150, one, two, three. Um, I'm I'm 30 days. I'm 30 days short on my gold. I need I need. I'm a month behind on gold, everybody. So and that doesn't count in experience and everything else. But I'm a month behind on gold. Let me know how your gold is looking. I'm sure it's looking exactly the same. And uh, we'll see how this develops over time, where we get new guild, new gold available. Maybe we'll get some gold from the raid or somewhere else in the future. We'll see how it happens, everybody. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next one. And always remember. Nooch too good.